July to November every year is the milkfish production season. However, the recent surplus in milkfish production has resulted in declining milkfish prices over the years. This problem is compounded by the pandemic affecting the export of milkfish that has caused farm gate prices of milkfish to plummet by 25 percent. Faced with the plunging fish prices, fish farmers are forced to sell their milkfish at a loss. Some biotechnology firms believe that you must save yourself first before saving others, hence they have called upon cross-disciplinary experts to create a one-stop industry chain model. The unique farming technique has earned the champion for the delicious award group at the competition for king of milkfish in Jai County. Fishermen busy harvesting milkfish is a common sight in Taiwan's fish farms during July and November every year. Milkfish is a type of domesticated fish in southern Taiwan. In particular, Tainan is home to the largest milkfish farming areas in Taiwan, totaling approximately 4,980 hectares, producing roughly 24,000 tons annually. The fish farms in Bayman District are high-density fish farms, breeding about 8,000 milkfish per hectare. I employed high-density farming this year, breeding about 12,000 milkfish. I have applied feed management to control to ensure optimum economic balance. Benefits. Farming milkfish with fresh texture and delicious flavors is not an easy task. Milkfish are harvested once per year and they are not resistant to cold temperatures. If the water temperature is too low, a mess die off will occur. Every detail, including the fish farm environment and fish feed, must be painstakingly tended to and checked manually on a regular basis. When the environment is less than ideal, algae will grow at a rapid rate. After ingesting the algae, it will release the unique scent of algae inside the milkfish, and this is the main reason for its earthy taste. Our full-time fish farmers look after the farm around the clock. Therefore, when we participated in the competition for the first time last year, we beat the saltwater fish and clinch it the champion of the competition for kin of milkfish for the delicious award group. This goes to demonstrate our attentiveness in farming our milkfish. Taiwan produces about 50,000 tons of milkfish every year, worth nearly 4.1 billion Taiwan dollars, of which 80 percent are sold to the domestic market. However, due to large-scale fish farming by neighboring countries such as Philippines and Indonesia, the surplus of milkfish has driven the price down year after year. Taiwan's fish farming industry has been weakened due to conditions in the past and several extrinsic factors. The key lies in whether or not we can apply new biotechnology approaches to improve the farming conditions. The prices have dropped by over 25 percent from last year. With such low prices, we need to save ourselves. In other words, we need to focus wholeheartedly on this aspect. Faced with plummeting fish prices, fish farmers are forced to sell their milkfish at a loss. President of biotech company Ming Ji Ling believes that we must save ourselves first before saving others. Consequently, the company has applied its robust expertise and professional talents in the livestock industry to the aquaculture industry. The milkfish is fed with a feed formula, and we also add probiotics to improve the water quality of the fish farm environment. Our upstream and downstream partners in the industry are all committed to enhancing the traceability process and ironing out the glitches. This is what we aspire to do because South Taiwan, particularly the Beiman district in Xuejia, is the hub of milkfish farming in the country. If we act as the forerunners in this endeavor, we can share our experience with the rest of the aquaculture industry. Committing to the aquaculture industry with the intention of helping people, Mingji Ling's team has developed fish farming technologies that have caught the attention of industry players within five years. He hopes to establish a fish farming model that is exclusive to Taiwan, thereby elevating the competitiveness of the aquaculture industry. <laughs>